Hey gang, welcome back for another video here on Joe Cabin. All right gang, so this video will be a little bit on the shorter side. The reason being, even though you see a different reaction in up, up there, and maybe you're thinking, not another thing I need to cram in my brain. Luckily, you already know everything I'm about to talk about. The Diekmann condensation is just a Claisen condensation that makes a ring. So one of the few times in OCHEM where someone just got a name on their reaction, obviously an important reaction, but one where we basically already know what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna do one example in this reaction. It's gonna be pretty fast, or this video, it's gonna be fast. So kick back, relax, and uh, let's hit it. So if we had the following structure, like this, and you saw very familiar reagents like ethanol and ethoxide and acidic, whoop, I can't number things, and acidic workup. You'd think to yourself, okay, I see you, Joe. This is a Claisen condensation. And you're like, almost right, but it's a Diekmann condensation because what we're gonna do is we have one structure that contains both the ester we're going to make into an ester enolate, as well as the ester that we're going to attack. So you can see, we're gonna form a ring. So, in this reaction, luckily we are symmetrical because we can see uh, one, two, oxygen, one, two, oxygen, and then one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter which side you start to work with, but the very first thing we're going to do is form an ester enolate. So, at the risk of uh, redrawing this a bajillion times, I am just gonna show ethoxide coming in and er, there we go deprotonating forming the ester enolate okay cool so we have the ester enolate we also have the ester so let's do some attack. Electrons swing down, alpha carbon, right, attacks the carbonyl carbon, electrons swing up. So at this point, things are gonna get a little kooky. So let's stay organized, we just made a ring. Starting here, one, two, three, four, and five. A five-membered ring, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just draw a pentagon. And I'm just gonna go ahead and number one, two, three, four, and five. Doesn't matter where you start at all. Just, I randomly decided I'm gonna start with one there. So on carbon number one, I think you can see we have one, two, three, four things coming off of it. It's this section right here. So right off one, I have a carbon that is the carbonyl carbon, right? And then I just fill in the rest of the ester that has stuck around. Nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four, and on five, you can see that's, this is where we have our tetrahedral intermediate. We have the O minus, as well as the ethoxide piece right here. However, that ethoxide piece won't be there for long because we're going to collapse our tetrahedral intermediate, eject ethoxide, and it's at this point, right, that we either keep our clasin or ditch it, and it all depends, oh, sorry, I'm gonna draw these arrows a little bit more conveniently. And it all depends on the fact that whether or not we have a proton available right here, and luckily we do. So the ethoxide we just ejected does come back, but not in a nucleophilic vengeance, just to grab a proton. Electrons get dumped there. Right, this is the irreversible step. That's why the arrow looks different. and make a lone pair right there. To this point, we bring in our always there friend, never leaving our side, hydronium. And 
and we complete our Diekmann condensation. Just the cyclic Claisen. Okay, gang. Just a short video. There's going to be one more video that covers ester enolates in all their glory. As far in, in okay, as far as the Claisen and the Diekmann and whatnot. Just wanting to put everything together because all both of these videos were ester attacking ester, but I want to show something like ketone attacking ester because that can happen as well. So just if you're looking for a little bit more, if you're craving a little bit more Claisen type things, check out uh, the, it should be called something like synthesis, uh, like Claisen synthesis or something like that. So check that out. That's all I got for the Deepman condensation. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.